This is Bryce Craven with Engage BDR TV speaking with Ted Danik, the CEO. Ted, tell me, how does the current ad serving ecosystem work? The ad serving ecosystem is pretty interesting. It's actually pretty complicated and there's a lot of moving components. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about how it works. So typically, people are used to seeing ad, ad tags uh, that are placed on various sites. An ad tag makes a call to an ad server for an ad. Ad server serves a content. It's a little bit more complex than that. Ad server makes a call. A lot of times it makes a call to another ad server, which might be calling another ad server, which calls, calls another ad server, and so on. So you have what, this call, what, what, what we call a daisy chaining effect. And if you're a user on a site, you have all these tags to load, and so your content is slowed down. So it's kind of crazy. So uh, with the introduction of real-time bidding and, uh, and a lot of other stuff like that, ad serving becomes a little bit more complicated, but there's a lot of, a lot of opportunity, huge opportunity for optimization and, and, and kind of aggregating a lot of these technologies together. What I mean by that is you have ad serving. You need an ad server. If, you have, uh, if you're a big display publisher, you need an ad server that can handle scale. You don't want an ad server written PHP like OpenX or something like that, or even Java. Um, sorry, guys. But uh, some of the other technologies that are scalable, uh, we have an ad serving technology written in C, native to the web server, Apache mod. Uh, it can handle tons of scale. And what we're, what we're seeing now is not only do you need that, but if you're, an ad, if you're a web publisher, you have tons of inventory that you want to be able to auction in a real-time bidding environment. Typically, these publishers have been taking tags and handing out passback tags to the supply-side platforms, the Rubicons, the Pubmatics, the AdMeld, et cetera. And basically, they try to fill the inventory. And when they can't fill the inventory, they end up serving a passback tag. What that ends up doing is causing a lot of latency on the page. And it creates an environment that's not true real-time bidding. It ends up being a real-time bidding, real bidding environment for just the remnant inventory and the stuff the publisher decides to, to serve on those tags. And so what ends up happening is the publisher really ends up preempting the, their own demand uh, by cannibalizing their revenue because it's not a true bidding environment. So we're actually introducing a supply-side platform product that will create real-time bidding for every single impression for the publisher. In addition to that, you have demand-side platforms that are plugged into these supply-side platforms. And there are tons of these DSPs out there. And they're basically buying inventory on RTB uh, and selling it through their either self-serve platforms or, or giving access to APIs. And uh, their customers can create their, their own interfaces. That's an interesting place as well. There's a lot of opportunity there. You have mobile DSPs. You have display DSPs. You have video DSPs, et cetera. We have actually been in the DSP space for a little bit over a year. Had a couple releases of our of our product. We introduced um, mobile a little while back. Display's been in there for a while, and now we're introducing video and, and email very soon too. So that's kind of an exciting place. You have DSPs, you have supply side platforms, which are SSPs. You have ad serving as well. And what we're seeing is we're trying to really aggregate all these technologies into one and just kind of uh, evolve uh, the path and, and, and make it all work together seamlessly. And so in the next set of interviews, we're, we're gonna talk a little bit about detail and specifics on, on how each component works and, and the kind of value it adds to people's lives uh, uh, in, every, um, in every medium because the reality of it is the way the system has been uh, architected today in the, uh, in, in the online media space, Every every partner ends up absorbing a, a huge discrepancy in their in their media and their impressions. It's a typical is ten percent per layer, and when you have this daisy chaining, uh, you have lots of layers, and so everyone kind of loses. The publisher loses uh, the most usually. You know, ad networks lose a lot. DSPs lose. Everyone loses because the uh, the way the ad serving is um, is today, it's all analog a little bit. You know, so we'll talk a little bit about that in detail. But um, you know, it, we are actually going to be migrating and evolving our ad serving product, which is called Blink today. It will be joining the forces of our first impression demand side platform, which is the, um, the name for our SSP as well, first impression. So first impression SSP, first impression DSP, 
and first impression ad serving. That's the evolution of the world uh, in ad serving for us, and, and we feel very confident that it's going to provide tons of value for everyone involved, and, and uh, I look forward to talking in detail about that. Cool. So if people want to actually talk to you about this and not just watch the videos, how do they get a hold of you? They can email me, ted at engagebdr.com. Thanks, Ted.